You still get base power and toughness 5-5, five, five, so we can do this. Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's MTG Gnome here. And today we're going to be going over Raga Draga Gorguts boss. So I did a test intro on my last video and people said that they actually like the intro just as long as it's not too long for the most part. Now I'm going to get right into it. So what I'm going to do is go over the key cards that you should put in this deck and hopefully you guys agree with me. The key cards I think you should put is pretty much a lot of the mana dorks. Incubation Druid, Leafkin Druid, Menagerie Curator, Naga Vitalist, Paradise Druid, Reclusive Taxidermist. All these cards are going to be awesome. And then you want to put Leyline of Abundance in to give you that extra mana. Unnatural Growth is really great to close out the game. Sylvan Awakening is also a win con. And to keep your things from getting countered, Allosaurus Shepherd and Rhythm of the Wild is really great. And then your finishers, obviously, Crater Hoof Behemoth, Enrage Forerunners, and Fiery Emancipation. And then your protection spells like Snake's Skin Veil, Ranger's Guile, things like that is just going to be really awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys like the deck, if you guys like the channel, please consider subscribing, liking the video. And if you guys want to buy paper cards for this deck, be sure to hit the TCG Player affiliate link down below. Helps out the channel a ton. And let me know what you guys thought of this intro. Hopefully it wasn't too short, too long. With that, let's get into it and let's see how the deck does, shall we? Okay, we go first against Golos. Now this is definitely going to be interesting. And we start with the ley line. Let's keep it. This is a really good hand. All depends on what kind of Golos build they have. Hello, friend. We can do this. We can do this. Really good. Really solid. Really solid turn two, not gonna lie. Sterling Grove, is it Golos Enchantments? Let's do this. We start the onslaught, baby. Is he gonna be able to survive this though? That's the thing. Right, let's do this. Maybe? Yeah, let's do this. Let's play this, then we'll play the Sylvan Awakening. That's a lot of damage. Let's see what happens. They have four mana. Oh, good game. Wow. That was amazing. Okay, we're up against Itali. This should be an interesting matchup. Kind of really curious about this matchup. Let's keep it. Is it going to be a lot of removal? If it is, then we are screwed. Oh, he had to put back a card. He mulliganed to... Six. Tome of Legends. I should have played the red so I can have the lightning bolt. But that's okay. So what do we do here? We don't necessarily need the Rhythm of the Wild in this matchup. It's nice to have. Let's play the Guardian Project, since Red has no way of dealing with enchantments. So we can just really draw some cards. We're drawing land, which is really good. Let's play Raga Draga. Let's see what happens. Menagerie Curator. Yeah, let's do this. He, you know, he might have a Storm's Wrath or a, a uh, burn down the house. He can have a lot. If we play this unnatural growth, though, he won't be able to attack with the Itali. Ooh, Goldspan Dragon's really good. Oh, and he can play Itali since the Goldspan Dragon's out with those treasures. Talk about synergy. That's awesome. Very cool indeed. Let's do this. What's unnatural growth? And let's swing. 
He's got a block. And we kill him with a lightning bolt. You should have blocked. Good game. That's how you close it out. Okay, we're up against Nigo Bolas. This is going to be a tough matchup for sure. I think we keep this. Four lands, but we do have two of our mana dorks. We might even be able to play Raga Draga turn three. Maybe. Don't tell me that's a shock. Okay, it's a lightning bolt. I was going to say, if that was a shock, I would have been sad because I had the Druid of the Cow with three toughness instead of the two toughness on the Reclusive Taxidermist. It does slow us down a bit, for sure. Rakdos Locket. Uh, let's play the Guardian Project. And I guess we'll swing. I don't want to use the Tamiel Safekeeping on the Druid, that's for sure. If we need it to. We definitely need to draw some cards. Guardian Project is going to help with that. Oh, just cards, two cards. That is rough. Uh, we'll keep the safekeeping just in case it destroys the Raga Draga. Let's do this. We'll draw a card. It is a force, which is awesome. Put a shepherd so our green spells can't be countered. And now we are online. Valky. So he can take a look at our hand, which is bad. So he knows we have the Tamiel safekeeping. The Hermit. I guess he's just playing creatures now to build up his board state. So we can't rush car because of the... Well, we can. He doesn't have a blue source to sack the Hermit. Rectos Locket is not blue. So we can rush car's expertise and then bolt. What do we want to bolt, though? We can bolt the Hermit. Mm. Yeah, let's bolt. Very nice. Then I want to keep one green open just in case he decides to uh, board wipe or do something because he can play Nico Bolas next turn. If he has a land, he can play the seven mana Nico Bolas. So I do want to keep one green mana open just in case for the Tamiyo safekeeping. What are you going to do, opponent? What are you going to do? Nico Bolas, okay. So we have to discard a card. Let's discard the Galia. Yeah, let's discard the Galia. Benevolent Geist, okay. Probably figures that now we won't attack. And he can transform the Nico Bolas next turn. So that is a problem. Let's Great Hinge. It's going to draw us a ton of cards. And we'll play the Land of War Elves. Draw two cards. Hmm. Lunar Frenzy. That could work. If he decides to block. We can Lunar Frenzy for at least three. So Raga Draga becomes a seven. But then that leaves us open. You know what? Let's do this. Let's swing with Raga Draga. Actually, let's swing with the cow too. One can only be blocked and die. It's okay, so he's not going to do anything. Just lets us hit him. So, well, we'll pass. Transforms Nico Bolas and does what? Put target creature card from graveyard into the battlefield. You can put the enraged forerunners. That won't kill us though. Ah, the V Devil. That is a shame. All right, we'll float the mana. No attacks. Oh, okay, he does attack. 
Yeah, we'll take it. I'm okay with that. He can counter this because it's not green with a shepherd. This is an elf. This is an elf. These will get base power and toughness 5-5, five, five, so we can do this. Hello. And there we go. Is that GG's? I believe it is. Good game, opponent. Held him off just enough. Okay, opponent goes first. We're playing Prosper. This is a pretty damn good hand. We got the Shepherd first turn. We can explore turn two. Putting another land on the battlefield. And then Savala will come down. Oh, Vela Summer is really good too. Oh, Leyline, you were just too late. Leyline's a little bit too late here. Although... Reveals a non-creature, non-land. So if we don't... So we can... If we don't use the Leyline now, we'll lose it, right? So let's just use it. And he'll, he'll just get rid of the Veil of Summer, which... Uh, I'm kind of sad, but... That's just how it is. Prosper comes down. We don't have a way to deal with it, unfortunately. Veil of Summer was the protection card, so... I mean, if Prosper just has a ton of removal here, we just lose. Because our board will never stabilize enough to actually even get the Tarrasque out. Facebreaker's good. Yeah, I'm gonna make a token with that. That'd be devil. Good thing he doesn't have the mana for that right now. He will, though. Which is a shame. So if we play Raga Draga, he's just gonna die. But he does spend his mana. Well, I guess... Kinda does, but... He spends two mana instead of three because he makes that treasure. Let's do this. Let's establish, establish a little bit of board presence. It's not much, but... He's gonna kill the Raga Draga. Or he goes for the Savala, which is smart, because he knows we have the Tarrasque. And that's what the Veil of Summer would have been for. Oh, he can take out... Oh, he sacks these two tokens, he can take out the Gala. Galia. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of stuck, man. We are really stuck now. We had a really good hand starting out, and then it all just went to crap. Oh man, that's right. She can, she can get that stuff from the graveyard. So he gets through with this. Gets through with this. He gets through with everything. We can't kill anything. Oh man, that's rough. So much value with Prosper, man. You get the right opponent. It's pretty much a wrap. 
finish your opponent off really easy now. Not much we can do here. We just don't have a way to stabilize. And we're too far to cast the Tarrasque. Oh no, Arcane Bombardment. He's using my build. I don't know if I have the Chandra though, but... I do have the Arcane Bombardment for sure. Arcane Bombardment is so good. Especially in Prosper. So he plays that. Wait, can he... Okay, yeah, he can play it. He can play the land. Should be doing that damage to me, no? He should probably swing with everything, dude. I don't know if there's any there's a coming back from this. Oh well, that's right, those two those two get sacrificed. I didn't even think about that. If we drew a land, we could have played the Verdant Rejuvenation. No, we wouldn't be able to play it anyway. Yeah, that's GG's. Prosper just totally took us over, man. Alright, we're up against Miram. With the Leyline of Abundance. I like our chances. They do go... First, which kind of sucks. Hey, look, it's a dragon. Let's play our Elysian Curated. Corlesa. Play Dragon Spells on top of his library. Uh, what do we do? Could I play the Galia. Do we play the Raga Draga? Let's play the Toski. And then next turn we could play Raga Draga and Galia. Clone Crafter. Okay, hope he doesn't get something crazy. Like a Tarrasque or something. Oh, drove over the mighty, that's what he got. Okay. We're just setting up his board so we don't draw cards. Why would you put this in your Miram deck? I don't know. I don't understand. Well, let's get our boy. Let's tap this for two green. And we'll play Galia. Toski has to attack, unfortunately. Next turn, we can play the Titan of Industry. Put the shield counter on Raga Draga. Oh, Drover of the Mighty gives him a mana. So he'll be, he'll be able to play Miram this turn. That is a problem. If he has a land. He's looking at our stuff. Mythos of Aluna. Very interesting move there. Um, we could Sylvan Awaken. I think we wait till next turn to do that, though. That was a really weird move that he just did. Why did he do that? I don't understand. Let's do this. Let's play our big Titan of Industry. Let's give our big Indestructible Boy. Destroy Target Artifact. Let's... Ah, oh, come on. What happened? You didn't you didn't like that? 